but in 1837 the citadel was rebuilt and they used the stones and then they renamed it to Binhua Citadel. Yes, yeah, so as I said, the idea was to keep this building and restore it and make it as an attraction for tourists, but it didn't happen. As you, you know, outside, you can barely see. You know, spending two million dollars on this kind of project, they could have bought this land, you know, and give money for the people who own this land. That's the back of the building, and that's what you can see. You know, you can't see anything. And this is a 300 years old ancient building, Binhua Citadel. But as you can see from the street, it doesn't look very attractive. So as we walk further, you'll see that this nice building, it's covered with all these houses in here. And there's some more construction going on. So this is one of the remaining military bases in Binhua City that's been restored years ago and I think they've spent about two million dollars roughly to restore this building. They've got all these houses in here, you know, the residents, the people that own the land just uh, build the houses, you know, and I was reading uh, some articles that these red residents kind of being blamed that they build these houses you know so that's the front of the citadel but you know if you've got a piece of land you might as well build a house and if government wants to hello and if government wants to make this place as the museum you know for the tourists they have to i think to spend more money and buy the land in the surroundings so all this space, the area, could be preserved, uh, saved and left for, just like for the surroundings, you know, they can build a big fence around it. And now we've got, look, all these houses. So you can barely see from this side of the road, you just see like kind of a roof in there, you know, it's not that beautiful. And if you walk further, I think there's a gate in there to, to go inside. Right, so I'll try to go inside. So this is kind of a dumpster in here. I don't know if I can go in there, but I will try to go. Okay, so that's the surroundings. <laughs> this is so crazy, it's like a trash. Okay, so that's the back of the building. And as you can see, you've got all this dam in here and it's like, man, you know, spending two million dollars on this kind of project and not thinking about the the land that is being around this uh, nice piece of architecture building they could have bought this land you know and give money for the people who own this land maybe spend an extra money and then they could have like a nice gardens surrounding the area but now that's that's the back of the building and that's what you can see you know you can't see anything it's been like, <laughs> yeah, so I don't think these uh, buildings will move anytime soon. Okay, so, but that's not about it. So I, I don't blame these residents. It's not their fault, you know. They, they had a piece of land and they built the land. It might be the only one that they had. So they had no other choice, you know. It's down to government to to decide and make the move where they can buy the lands of the residents and maybe offer them a better place somewhere to stay, you know, and keep this land around the citadel clear. But it's not happening. As you can see, more, more houses is being built. Right, so I think now we'll go inside and we'll have a look what they've got. Uh, as per internet sources, they're saying that it should be over, I think if I'm right, over 3,000 items inside to see it and explore it. Like a historical items. 
Okay, and that's some something as well. Some rooms in here, some commercial commercial things that I think they connected to to this old area here. And that's the main gate, guys. Okay, so we go back a little bit. That's the that's the main gate to the Benhua Citadel. And that's the side of it on the left. You've got another gate stored with some building construction items. And it's like, man, you know. Okay, so this uh, citadel was built in 14th to 15th century. And the first, the first time it's been built, they build with a soil. And if the source is on, on internet saying correct, it was about 1.5. It was about 1.5 kilometers long. It was nearly four meters high, and the walls was 4.7 meters thick. Okay, and since then the citadel name was. It, it has a name Ku Citadel, but in 1837 the citadel was rebuilt and they used the stones and then they renamed it to Binhua Citadel. Wow guys look at this building in here. Yeah so this citadel I've seen a lot. It's been taken over by French colonists, then Vietnam War, American soldiers and it's still there. It's 300 years old and it's amazing guys. Okay, so let's go inside. Maybe I'll put the light on and you can see better. So I managed to speak to some people and they let me inside to have a look. So there are some rooms with some items that we can have a look. I quite like this place, you know. There was, I think the restoration was done good, but two million dollars, <laughs> I think that's way too much. <laughs> okay, so we have the first room in here. Wow, it's not too much in here. Got a nice picture, some horns, a desk. Wow, that's that's really old. Okay, so there's no history or written something about this item so I'm just gonna explore it and that's the bedroom I believe it's a nice bed made out of steel you've got all the net from the mosquitoes as well you've got a fan which is <laughs> wow is it old or it looks kind of old yes I think it's an old fan then you've got a table the ironing things in here other stuff well, these scissors definitely not old, maybe three years old. Um, another nice picture. Okay, so let's head to another room. And as we walk out, there's a nice window. And you can see what's going on outside. I think it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful piece of art. Yeah, so as I said, the idea was to keep this building and restore it and make it as an attraction for tourists, but it didn't happen. It was, you know, outside, you can barely see if there's something, you know, inside, just like bits of it. All right, so that's another room we've got in here. Got an old TV. Oh, here is that. What's, what's the name of the TV? Remocon. Victor. Wow, that's really old. Got an old watch. Then we've got a table here. Is that. Okay, maybe that's a French flag, I don't know. Okay, there's a table, the man working here. We've got some chains. Okay. So maybe. What I'm guessing, they bring the prisoners in here and the prisoners, they're being chained. This guy may be questioning them. Oh, that's quite a spacious room. 
Well, I believe most of the items are not here, just uh, some of it. Okay, we've got another piece on the wall. Alright, so let's have a look in the other room. Okay, so ah, there's the items in the rooms as well. So next room is Fam Bo Jin Ite. Okay, what's this room is about? It's quite empty. We've got some cupboards in here. Ah, okay, so they've got some more items. Check Daniel's is it? No, I, mean, I think this. Some of the bottles, of, I don't think they hold. The books, yes, I believe, but these bottles like Jack Daniels, Glenfiddich, you know, it's, it doesn't look old. But these, probably, yes. The books, yes, all the other stuff. Okay, we've got some more. Uh, what is that? It's like a torturing tool or I don't know. Secret box. Oh, that's a camera. Okay, that's a, an old camera here. And we've got another camera. An old watch. Okay, so it's pretty empty in here. Got another fan in there. Okay, let's head to the next room. Which is next room is Fam Si Quan Gao Cup. Okay, so that's more action. Is what's going on? So this guy is typing something. Oh no, he's got a case. Okay, so he's got a case. This fella is on the phone, on the old phone. Wow, what kind of phone is that, man? <laughs> that's really unusual well really old I mean that's a typing machine a watch which I believe is really really old as well and that's the bedroom that's where the soldiers used to sleep got two nice beds got lamps in here a nice clock Nice picture. Then they can put the helmets on, the hats, the shoes on. Got an old fan in there as well. Okay, so I think it should be some rooms where they was keeping prisoners as well. I want to find these rooms. It's quite spacious in there, I like it. But it's really, really beautiful. I like this, the way it's designed, you know, it's... So I know, I've seen the picture, so many, many years ago, they built out of the bricks, you know, they used the bricks to, to build a solid construction, so it can last for, for many, many years. That's what they did. And then they obviously used all these... As the time went past, they used all these metal staircases. It's probably happened during the restoration time when they was restoring okay i think we can come in here right so in here there's no names of the rooms because i think they are prisons and torturing rooms i believe they are prisons yes Oh, that's a nice brickwork in there. I like the old brickwork. Okay, so this room, yeah, right, this room is where they had prisons. So there's only one prisoner in there. You see it's being locked to this bar and he can only move so far. And it's a quite small room as well. Okay, let's head to the next one. If we can go. Okay, so the next room is in here, which is 
a bigger room. Wow, okay, so that's a bigger room for the prisoners. So we've got more prisoners in here, but it's still sad, and now they're being locked with these chains in here. And they can barely move, you know, just move along across the room in here. Wow. And you can even see the scars in here, they've been tortured, you know. So there was a lady here and I've asked her and she said it's Vietnamese people, but I couldn't find much history about it, you know. I might need to dig a bit more, but yes, this building got overcome. many many difficulties and I'm really glad. ah so that's kind of a new toilet in here that's definitely not the old-time toilet okay so look so <laughs> wow so the this building been restored and it's already peeling off but it might because it may be because of the damp I don't know two million spent on, on this building Okay, so uh, uh, the other thing I've heard about it, that there's a coffee shop on the corner and they said that that coffee shop's uh, profit was invested into, this, into restoring this building as well. Those people from the coffee shop, the owner, helped uh, and gave some money for this restoration. I don't know if it's true. It's weird, you know, because when you're looking to some difference from film. Okay, so this is maybe to watch TV. So it's strange because if when I'm looking for some information, different sources they tell you different things, you know, and and then I'm getting confused a little bit. Which one should I believe? Should I believe this or should I believe that? Okay, I found another room in here. Right, so that's where they catch the prisoners. And then they asking for the information. Look at that, this fella. He's got the big whip. And he's making them talk. Look, all the other torturing tools in here. Okay. And they've got a picture as well. Wow. Okay. It's a little bit strange feeling to, to be in these kind of rooms and to see, you know. And this is really, really sad if you think about it, you know, what happened many years ago. Many people, they probably forgotten about this already. All right, so I've been in this farm exam. Okay, so I've been in this room already. Yeah, so many people, they probably... Okay, let's try to go through, through there. Can I go? Oh no. Okay, so I think that's about it in this, in this building. Okay, so they have, they do have some interesting things in here, but when they said 3,000, hmm, Maybe now they're not displaying those old items because there's not many tourists in here. In here. Ah, another thing in here. They said these bikes are, one second, put, put the light. These bikes are really, really old. Made, made in France. Wow, okay, so that's a French bikes. Okay, so they came to Vietnam, brought some bikes. That's, I believe, the electric bike. You put some petrol there, you got a bag in here, wow. That's kind of a decent bike, I like it. <laughs> wow, it's got a nice motor in here. These are nice bikes, I like it. Old fashioned, very, very old and still preserved, very good. Look at this bike in here, wow. That's really, really nice. Okay, so I want to see if maybe, maybe I can sneak up on the roof. 
because I've seen I don't know if I should do that so it's closed okay so there's a door here but I think it's closed okay so let's go maybe let's not do that it's a historical building we need to show some respect so I'll go to the other building and show you the surroundings inside now okay so as we go out you see there's a really really big space we've got another set of buildings in here like some sort of commercial buildings and then what they say that this parking lot in here became a parking lot for the people who work nearby in Binhua City. It's only because there are not too many customers probably or tourists that comes and sees this and visits this building, you know. Yeah, so as we walk by, we can see these other buildings. They kind of create the wall as well and blocking the view for this nice building there so that this building here and then another buildings where i was walking on the road they blocks the whole view of this you know it's kind of ruined and then we've got another nice building it's like a villa in here okay let's see if i can just go inside i can see it's locked Okay, so we just see from here, they have two doors and the woman earlier said that it's not much to see inside, just probably empty. Okay, so as we walk by, it's a nice building as well, it's a nice building. We've got some pottery going on. Don't know what that what they are for. And we've got these little towers in here. I don't know what are they. Maybe they are some sort of guard towers. We've got one there. And we've got one there as well. And one there as well. Maybe they are towers for the guards. I'm guessing. Okay, so I think I've seen everything in here now. and I had a really good experience. I think if when they started this restoration, before all these houses were built, the governments, I believe, they could do something better, like buying the land from those people here. But now the houses are built and it's a little bit too late, I guess. Look at that, guys. Look at that building here. 300 years old and it's still been standing you know restored and it's still so beautiful i think i will end this video here so if you learned something from this video hit that thumbs up subscribe to my channel share my videos and i'll see you in the next video guys goodbye